In this video, guys, I am going to show you how you can format your laptop or your desktop computer with a flash drive. Okay, this flash drive has a um, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. I'm going to show you guys when we start formatting it. And um, for those of you that have used your system for like um, three, four, five, six years without formatting it, okay, you will notice that your system will not be as fast as the first day you bought it. Um, this is not an issue. This is not a hardware issue. This is just because um, you've written a whole lot of files in different segments in your hard disk. And then um, the booting process might slow down. But if you're using a system like Core i9, 64 gig RAM, and um, with a high graphics card, you might not be able to notice this because those systems are very, very extremely fast, you know. But if you're using like 8 gig RAM and um, 16 gig RAM with um, 520, 620, 530, 630 um, graphics card that is not NVIDIA GeForce, you notice that after using your system for like uh, three, four, five years, you start noticing um, a little bit of lagging or the booting process might be a little bit slow. But this is not an issue. And um, that is why I want to show you guys how you can format your system with a flash drive. Now, formatting a system with a flash drive is as the same as formatting your system with a CD. But why I am formatting with a flash drive, why I bought this flash drive, this is a bootable flash drive. It has um, Windows um, 7, 8, 10, 11, which we are going to, I'm going to show you guys where we start. Why I want to format this system is because this system has been a little bit slow and um, the booting process now gets slow. And when I'm using editing software and so many other things, I notice a little bit of lagging. But I made a mistake initially. This system came with SSD hard disk, but um, when the SSD hard disk had issue, I changed it to HDD. While HDD is slower, okay. So for those of you that maybe in the future you want to change your hard disk or your hard disk has problem and you want to change it, make sure you get SSD because SSD is faster than HDD. Now the HDD is now giving me a little bit of lag. Apart from that, I've written a whole lot of files in the HDD hard disk. And um, before we start, let me just show you guys this system. This system, if you go to Tax Manager, um, this system is um, this is HP MV. If you go to Performance Area, you will see that this is um, HDD. Um, I think it's five one two, and the memory of this system is sixteen. Okay, and the CPU is called i7-8550 CPU at 1.8 gigahertz. Now, the GPU here is um, UHD graphics, Intel UHD graphics 620 with 8 gig shared memory, no dedicated memory. So, it's quite a very fast system, but because of the HDD um, and a whole lot of files that have been written on the system, it became slow. So, we are going to move over. And another reason why I want to um, format this system is because I have tried RootCam software. For those of you that have always written me about RootCam, that they want um, a video, live streaming video software that they can use to change their prank, their friends in a live video, but they cannot be able to afford a gaming laptop. Gaming laptops are quite very expensive, okay? I don't expect everybody to be able to afford a good gaming laptop start from a million plus with 800 or 900 you might not even get a very fast and getting a, an 8 gig dedicated um gaming laptop will be very hard for you right now here in nigeria so 8 gig dedicated start from 1 million 3 1 million 4 upwards you can still get 1 million 2 depending on the system so i don't expect everybody to be able to afford that kind of money and what i am working on is to make sure those of you that have normal laptop can be able to run a software that will also you know perform well on a live stream um changing of face or swapping of face okay now this software rookcam works fine here and i want to run it here i'm going to make a video about that later for those of you that still want rookcam on your system rookcam works better when you're using image to change your face in a live video it, it even works better than um, um deep face when it comes to image but when it comes to um um what is it called um model deep face is quite the best okay but when it comes to changing your face with image and you can be able to wave with rookcam you can be able to wave so 
what I'm trying to do is to find out if normal system like 625 20 can be able to run group cam and I will give you guys updates on that. Please, you guys should know that I'm always trying my best to make sure I get you guys the best updates, you know, on this channel. Okay, I go out of my way, I buy updates, you know, I, I go extra line to make sure I solve people's problem and um I will appreciate those of you that are watching this video for the first time to so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed and um, always follow up with my videos so that you won't miss out now i am going to change the, the, the what i'm using to record this video is my um samsung um phone and i'm going to switch this um phone since i'm going to format this laptop i will not be able to record my laptop screen because i'm formatting i'm claiming everything in the laptop so i can't be able to play the screen the same way i used to play my screen screen in other videos i'm going to use this phone to record the screen so that you guys will see the process that i'm using to format this system with a flash drive whether your system has a cd or not you can also use a flash drive whether it has a cd or it does not have a cd you can also use a bootable flash drive to format your system so I'm going to switch over. I'm not going to show my face, but you're going to be hearing my voice. I'm going to walk you through on how you can format your laptop or your desktop with a flash drive. So let's switch over to the laptop screen. Now, for you to format the system, the first thing you need to do is to shut down the system and plug the flash. Don't plug this flash when the system is on, because if you plug this flash, it might affect the files in this flash okay so you need to shut down your system and depending on your system or your desktop your laptop or your desktop sometimes it wants to shut it down some works with if you want to get to um bootable option how because we what we need to do is to tell the system to boot from this flash so for you to tell the system to boot from this flash you need to tap a particular command mine is f9 but it's a systems escape will lead you there immediately is about to restart you guys should watch what i'm about to do you can see my finger okay some systems escape takes you there some systems enter takes you there some systems delete takes you there some systems f9 takes you there some systems f6 f8 so you need to try a couple of things in case if you don't know the um button that is going to take you to the boot option so is either you press the power button and shut it down straight but i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do is click and um, say restart so once the system is about to restart this is my i think um this is my f9 button okay this f9 is going to take me there so once the system okay i have to plug this flash and hold f9 the tapping f9 okay you can see it has taken me to bootable option now this first one is um os boot manager which is not where i want to go the second one is usb hard drive which is where we're going to boot from and the third one is boot from um efi file no we're going to boot from the second one which is um usb hard drive now click on enter now you guys can see closely all right i don't know if you guys can see i think you guys can see me here all right if you look closely we have Windows 11, we have Windows 10, we have um, different Windows, Windows 7, and I think this is Windows and um, what? So but what we're going to load on this system is Windows 11. Now, select Windows 11 and click on Enter. And the system will start um, loading. Okay, so let's allow the system. You can see HP is loading. So this is going to take a little time, but I'm going to make it faster. You can see the blue screen has come up. Let me bring the system closer a little bit. So here, language, you select your language, United States, that's okay, English, and 
keyboard normal and click on next now click on install setup is starting you guys can see setup is starting we we'll have to allow this is booting from this flash so over here what you need to do is you have to agree and click on next now here it's saying upgrade install windows and keep file setting and application no that is not what we're going to do custom install windows only advanced okay we're going to take on this second one so what i'm going to do here is here is the partition area i'm going to delete delete i don't want a partition delete i just want to load the windows in just the hard disk delete okay i'm going to load this here I've delete. if you want to partition you can now partition if you want okay i'm going to leave it like this and click on next so installing windows this is loading i'm going to fast forward this because this is going to take a little time i can't keep the screen like this so that you guys will keep watching i'm going to cut this video once this window um finishes i'm going to fast forward it whichever one now you guys can see that it has finished loading the files and is getting ready. It doesn't actually really take time if your system is very fast. So let's wait for this to finish getting ready. Once it finishes getting ready, that means it has loaded all the new files and then we'll proceed. So when we are done, I'm going to tell you how many minutes it takes for you to reload a normal system. This is just for i7 16 gig, no NVIDIA GeForce graphics card in it. So window has loaded now. You have to click on US, then get to the next page and select OK US. Then click on next. At this point, it's telling us to connect to Wi-Fi. So you can also connect to Wi-Fi if you want. OK. Let's connect to Wi-Fi. Let me put my Wi-Fi password. And allow the windows to come up. Checking for updates. Okay. Sign in. At this point, it's telling us to let's add your Microsoft account. Okay, we've signed in into our Microsoft account. So let's allow the Windows to load. Windows is now loading. Create pin. You have to create a pin so that you can be able to log into your system with a pin. All right, so let's create a pin. So I've created a pin and okay. Welcome, Icon WW2. So click on next. At this point, you can now remove your flash. Okay, now click on next. Okay, you can let's customize your experience. Gaming, this is not really a gaming system. Um, entertainment, school, business, family. You can just skip this anyway. You don't really need, unless you're into gaming and all that, you can now select it. You are in luck, you've landed a free trial. Decline, I don't want to set up cloud. Decline, then let's allow the windows to load skip is setting up our window we're almost done in this process okay our windows is now loading getting things ready for you make sure your system is plugged in so here comes our new windows so once you're done at this point, Windows has loaded, okay? Another thing you need to do is to go and check if your drivers are there. So what you need to do is open a new folder, okay? Just click here and open a new folder. I think the Windows is still loading. Okay, folder has come up. 
So go over to this PC, my computer, right click on it and click on manage. Once you click on manage, allow manage to come up, see coming up. Okay, now go to device manager and check your drivers. If your drivers are not there, okay, some drivers needs to be updated. That means we have to update all these drivers. So if you don't have your driver, all you need to do is just go to update driver. Sometimes you might find it online, sometimes you might not find it online. You need to take it to an engineer. Search automatically for drivers, browse on this computer, not on this computer. Search automatically for browsers. You guys can see search update for Windows. All right. Some systems, you might not be able to get the drivers out here. Okay. Sometimes you might be able to update the drivers online, depending on the kind of system that you're using. But even if you can't get the drivers, you go to an engineer that has the drivers and update all your system drivers so that everything will work perfectly. Okay. So you guys can see these are drivers. Click on download. That is why it's good to connect your system to your Wi-Fi. So you download all the drivers. Once you download all the drivers, it's going to take a little time. You update all these stuffs, all these um, ones that are in yellow button. Now you guys can see how easy it is for you to format your system. Okay, it takes um, a couple of minutes, but make sure that your system is plugged. And um, if it's a laptop, make sure it's plugged. If it's a desktop, make sure that's um ups or you have a constant light or your generator so that the system will not chip off while you're formatting your system so that you format it at once and if this video was helpful please you know what to do make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're watching my video for the first time uh, my name is Aswee Kenna Kinsley and on this channel I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in a daily online space but during the weekend I make sure I give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my video make sure hit the subscription button and turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first video once I upload a new video I will see you guys in my next video like always you guys should stay creative and remain blessed